Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Climb Carlsbad Gore-Tex jacket. Climb are a brand that adventure and off-road riders rave about, and having used this Carlsbad Gore-Tex jacket, I can see why. It's £599.99 at the moment, and that is a lot of money. But the spec is really high to match that price, and there's a lot to talk about, so it's probably best that I get straight into the meat of it. The outer on the Climb Carlsbad jacket is really tough. Some sections are relatively light and flexible, but there's lots of ripstop material to toughen it up in likely impact points. Ripstop is a material with a tough thread woven through it in opposite directions to stop any tears from growing. This stuff is 630 denier ripstop, so it's very strong stuff and it's reassuringly robust. There are loads of big ventilation points on this jacket, two on the chest, two at the cuffs, and then two at the lower back. The idea of this kit is that it suits serious adventure riding, so the comprehensive vents really do bring in good volumes of air. And the other bonus when it comes to venting is that the Gore-Tex lining in the Carlsbad is laminated. None of the literature says it's laminated, but two zips on the inside mean you can access the inner surface of the outer shell, and you can see quite clearly that the two are laminated together. It also means you can see the membrane comes apart at the vents and allows an almost uninterrupted flow of air to come through. So you can see when you undo this that air can go straight through without having to pass through a membrane. That's a key benefit in a jacket that's designed for use in a more active pursuit like trail and adventure riding, where you're more likely to overheat. Having a laminated outer is also a more effective rain defence in my experience, as the membrane does its work nearer the outer surface. With a basic drop liner, the membrane protects you against water that's already got through the outer shell, but in this setup the membrane gets into that fight much earlier and helps the outer shell stay dry in the first place. It also means the jacket stays warmer because a drier jacket is essentially warmer. Often, one of the downsides that's mentioned, one of the few downsides that's mentioned about laminated membranes is that they make the outer shell less flexible because there are two layers that need to flex. It certainly feels like that at first with the Carlsbad, and this one remained relatively stiff in the time that I spent wearing it. But owners who've bought this jacket and spent more time in it say it does become more flexible with time in the saddle. The main fastener is pretty straightforward. It's a chunky zip with the storm flap that velcros across the front to protect it from rain. And then there's a popper to secure it down in place at the bottom. And that main zip is also two-way. So if you want to open it a little to get more flexibility at the bottom, that's something that you can do quite easily. So that's pretty basic, but the collar fastener has a little bit more about it than your usual bike jacket. In terms of actually fastening it, it's pretty simple. It's a Velcro panel that goes across, but it's got this hook and this loop to pull a section back to allow more air to flow. You also get one on both sides, so you can create much more space and pull in much more cooling air while you're riding. The collar also has a drawstring that allows you to get a closer seal around the neck. Pull on the tab at the back until the tension is where you want it to be, and then these two lengths of elastic pop into those grooves, and that keeps the tension there so you've got that closer seal around the neck. The cuffs on this jacket are the ideal setup in my opinion. It's a wide opening with a zip and a Velcro fastener. There's plenty of room to fit them over chunky winter gloves. And the vent here is also handy, as the two-way zip means you can ride with the cuff fastened and the vent open. And if it's really hot outside, you can ride with both up to get maximum airflow coming in. Final practicalities on the outside of the jacket are fit adjusters to get a close fit at the sleeves, so the elbow armor stays in the right place. There are loads of light reflective panels for extra safety and a whole load of pockets. There are three at the chest, a regular sized one here, and then a large pocket here that's big enough to take the biggest mobile phone, and that one has an extra pocket over the top of it. This one's actually designed to carry a GPS tracker for adventure riders who know they might need tracing when they're stuck in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure no one's gonna tell you off if you keep your earplugs in there. The two pockets at the hip 
have loads of room and there are hand warmer entries at either side but only once you've released the popper that's holding them flat. On the inside there's no warmth liner with the Carlsbad jacket. This is designed for active riding, it's about layers and you'll need to invest in a separate thermal mid layer if you're looking to use this in the coldest of weather. There are five pockets on the inside which makes a total of 11 pockets across the whole jacket and there's a connection zip that joins up to climb trousers. The matching trousers for this are the Carlsbad Gore-Tex trousers, similar construction and they're currently £499.99 a pair. I'm going to put a link to those in the description. The armour on the inside of the jacket is a complete set, shoulder, elbows and back. They're flexible D3 O inserts and they meet the highest level 2 in the current CE standard so you know you're getting as good impact protection as you can get. The tough construction also shows in the overall CE late rating for the whole jacket, which is AA. Most textile jackets pass the lower single A standard, so again, this is a level up from the norm in terms of protection. In general, climb kit is on the big side, as is often the way with American clothing. For a British rider, I think it's definitely worth considering going a size down from the usual. I wore a medium and it was very baggy on me, and I feel I would definitely would have benefited from going down to a size small. The arms are also long. In some owner reviews, you'll find people who say they're a bit too long for their liking. You'll also find others who say this is the only bike jacket they've ever had where the sleeves were long enough for them. So if you fall into that last category and have long arms, then this jacket might have even more appeal. So there's no arguing that 600 pounds is a lot of money for a bike jacket. I checked this morning and there are a thousand textile touring and adventure jackets on our site that cost less than this one. And there are only 72 that cost more but I hope we've shown that the Climb Carlsbad Gore-Tex jacket gives a lot for the outlay. For active riders who are busy on the bike and want something that will give them good impact protection and practicality in different weather conditions, the Carlsbad Gore-Tex has a lot of appeal. I hope that's a full rundown of everything the Climb Carlsbad Gore-Tex has to offer, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.